What's up guys, Steve with Steve Invest, helping real estate agents, real estate brokers, and real estate investors grow their businesses with a path toward financial freedom. Simple way to stay in front of your past client center of influence database is MailChimp. I use it all the time. I send out an email at least once a week and uh, I'm gonna bring you through it. It's real simple. We do a lot of video now, so a lot of times what I'm sending out is just a video, so let's dive in. All right, so setting up a MailChimp account, it's free. I think it's free under 2,000 people. Um, it's pretty simple. You just go in, set up an account. Then uh, you go to your audience. You can create different audiences. Uh, you can create multiple audiences as well. So if you have real estate investors and you want to mail real estate invest or email real estate investors as opposed to you know just past client databases or if you separate your databases from buyers and sellers or fresh leads or hot leads whatever it is you can you can separate into multiple audiences i think you have to pay uh if it's over 2000 subscribers in your audience database combined uh it's not that much money but here you go, I'm going to walk you through uh, an actual campaign that I'm going to send out right now to my database. So I'm going to go up to campaigns. And by the way, if you're not using video, uh, I highly recommend it. It's real simple and I'm going to show you exactly how to um, embed the video into the MailChimp as well. It gets a pretty good, uh, pretty good, pretty good hits on it and uh, kind of twofold. It helps you grow your, your YouTube channel as well as um, gain that um, gain that interaction with your audience and um, all right so I can go up here I can go create new campaign and if you look you can see all the different campaigns that are set up because I already have campaigns um, and kind of the infrastructure set up which I'll show you it's pretty simple um, so I'm gonna go ahead and um, replicate a campaign that I know is already a video campaign because I'm gonna be sending out a video of a new listing that we have um, and again a lot of stuff that we're emailing out once a month uh, or once a week or new listings that we get um, anything that's from our YouTube channel with area attractions or if we go to restaurants or whatever the case is so um, we don't really have to worry about uh, doing too much research and typing and everything because a lot of the stuff is just videos so anyway I've uh, this is another video that we've already done. Have you eaten at Enzo's in Bonita Springs? Copy. I'm going to go ahead and edit the name. Uh, the name of it, it's a new listing. Uh, just listed. Uh, Cape Gulf Access, Cape Coral Waterfront Pool Home. And I'm actually going to copy that. So at the top here, this is just for the name of the campaign that you're doing. But I usually name the campaign as the subject as well. Uh, so you can see where it's going to go to right here. Um, this is my first database that I'm going to send it out to. And edit from. I don't need to mess with that. Subject. I'm going to edit subject here. Just listed, Gulf Access, hit save. Time you guys, this is super simple. <clears throat> and then I'm gonna go to the content, edit design. Uh, the reason why I do the replicate and not set up a new campaign every time is because it already has the logo up here. Uh, if I scroll down, scroll down, I have um, our standard language that we have in here in terms of um, we have experience in many real estate facets and you guys can read all this. And uh, basically it has all my contact information and everything's in there. Really the only thing that I change is right here. Okay. Now if you want to add anything, you simply just grab what you want over here, whether it's social media, uh, video, text, uh, images. So, uh, but for the sake of this campaign, I'm going to edit. I come over here. I'm going to delete this. I'm going to go to the video that we want, the Golf Access Pull Home. Copy.
and then below here is where normally this uploads video image will be uploaded right here I'm not sure why it's not doing that for whatever reason um, and then I'm gonna go into MLS I'm gonna find the property that we're talking about it's right here on Southeast 17th and I'm simply just gonna copy the MLS info it's as simple as that and I'm gonna paste that in there so now we have the text in there the image I'm not sure what is going on here so I tell you what I'll do for the sake of this video I'm just gonna screenshot this upload a picture from the screenshot normally the picture auto populates from the um, from YouTube I'm not sure why it's not doing it right now but we'll just upload a screenshot so you guys can see MailChimp's acting a little funny today there it goes Right. insert okay now we got the picture there um, save and close that come over here we look at it and simply when uh, the customer gets this email they're literally gonna click right here normally it shows the uh, play button for YouTube right here um, hit save and close It's already set for this one group, Outlook Contacts, over a thousand people, and I hit send. All right, guys, that's it. Uh, as mentioned, you're gonna wanna go ahead and um, set up MailChimp. There's there's other, um, other platforms out there. I like MailChimp, it's real simple. There's a lot of things that you can do. You can um, publish these as well, uh, or you can at least create these where they can publish week after week after week. So if you wanna get ahead of the game and you wanna set up three, four, ten weeks in advance. You can set these up that'll go out um, you know, every Wednesday at 10 o'clock, whatever, whatever you're gonna do. But um, all things considered, um, I really highly encourage you guys to email your database, your past client center of influence database at least once a week because that's gonna, um, you know, even if it's stuff that they're not necessarily interested in, it's still you staying in front of them about real estate, real estate related stuff. Uh, area attractions, new listings, um, any kind of real estate news. Um, obviously, it doesn't have to all be video, and I show you, you know, you can put in uh, written content, that's fine as well, put pictures. Um, but at least put pictures in your, in your uh, email if you don't have video. But again, um, you know, check out our, our YouTube channel, Steve Invest, as well, because uh, we got a lot of videos on there of how to create a YouTube channel and the content associated with it. You can also go to our other channel, which is our real estate channel here locally, uh, My Beach Brokers. Check that out, and you can see all the content and everything that we're putting out there. And um, anyway, that's about it, and I wish you guys much success. See you.